Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Mario 64. I was doing a weird voice when I counted down to start the commentary. And I said 3, 2, 1, go. Every time I say 3, 2, 1, go to like start the commentary, I always say it stupidly. Like usually I go 3, 2, 1, go. And I say go like deliberately annoyingly like that. And it's just become a habit at this point. I don't know. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand. Wait a minute. Uh, did we miss something? No, no, this is it. We're just finding out. I thought we didn't find the thing in his hand until later, but no, yeah. The mayor's dead. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Well, it's because you haven't, like, gotten to know him or anything. It's like you just walk in and he's just laying there on the floor. With his hat still on. Then everything goes all dramatic, and his wife is like, Oh my god, what is going on? And he's like, what's going on here, madam? Just calm down now, you need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. And here comes the detective with a with a similar hat. Those old Alaskan hats or something. You know, there's like these people that live up in Alaska that, like, their property is going to get taken away from them. A certain, there's like this whole show about it on TV, and Mom's been watching it, and she's like, all totally invested in it. I can see why, though. It's like really beautiful. The nature and stuff up there. I, what, I didn't do anything! What are you pointing the finger at me for? What you pointing your fin at me for? I'm gonna cut your fin right off and roast it in a Breath of the Wild cooking pot. I... Can't say anything for myself. All I can do is shake my head. He's like, Don't try to play anything with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was him. It was him. He did it in cold blood. My blood is warm. My blood is warm. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story, claiming that you're not the culprit. Yep, I am. Mario didn't do it. Yeah, thank you, Paracarry. Thank you, I love you, man. Thank you for sticking up for me. You're a good, good, you're a good man. You're a good Koopa. Considering all the brothers of yours that I've stomped in previous Mario games, I appreciate that you're... Okay, yeah, I said I didn't do it like three times now. How many times... What, do I have to put my hand on an upside-down, backwards Chinese Bible with one page torn out of it? At what point does this all become just a bunch of shit that somebody made up? They made it up, folks! It's make-believe! Like the Tooth Fairy! I'm just kidding. Alright, and right, no, we're not gonna get into that. I was quoting George Carlin, in case anybody wonders. <laughs> I don't know, I've been on a George Carlin kick a little bit lately. If my recent Breath of the Wild video description wasn't enough to give that away. Anyway, well he wants us to go find proof that we didn't do it. But I don't see how we're supposed to do that. I mean, she came into the room, we were there with him. It's almost understandable that she thinks what she does. If this happened to you, someone came into your house and went into the room that a loved one of yours was in, and then suddenly you found out they were dead, you would probably think that person did it, and now, oh, well, now all the whole town knows about it. Or at least anybody who has a class with Marlisa Moon. She was, a. Uh, classmate of mine. She was pretty cool, though. But she was like the gossip queen, basically. She was funny, though. You can tell that someone is, like, generally a success in life if you still remember their name <laughs> after 20 years and who they are. Shit, I say 20 years, but it's been longer than that, man. 25, man. 25 years since I've been in high school. What the hell has happened? Where's the time gone? To Penguin Killer, stop talking about that. Keep your distance. I'm not gonna do anything. I, I don't have a weapon here. Well, I have a hammer. But I just use it to hammer and nails. Harry Wake? Yeah, sure. He lives right next to the lake. To the lake, to the lake. What? 
Herring Way might be a murderer. No! That can't be. He's a really good friend of the mayor. He'd have no reason to kill him. Oh, uh, well. It's one of the first things they do in a murder case. They say, well, the murderer probably knew the victim. That being, oh, well, they got it blocked off here. Better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. So you do. Sorry, but you can't leave the city. I'm serious now. I feel stuck here. I can't be stuck here. I got a wife in 1985. I got a girl. Anyway, no. There's a rumor that you murdered Mayor Penguin. Did you really do it? I don't think you did. I bet it was that crazy guy I saw running around here the other day. He was weird. You don't look so weird. Well, thank goodness. At least some of these penguins can think for themselves around here. Oh, man. <laughs> this is Herringway's house. He's a novelist. Herringway should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. That's novelists for you, dude. They, they hold themselves up. Have you ever seen Misery? You seen what that guy does? He drives all the way off to a mountain, like to a hidden cabin, to do his writing. Cause that's the best that you do your best writing when it's like you're totally isolated. Oh. <laughs> you ought to retrace your steps. Okay, so apparently the key to this door is missing. We know it's at the bottom of the pond. Now, actually, what you're supposed to do is tornado jump on the pond, but I don't figure that out for a little bit here. I did actually cut this before I started this commentary, though, so... <laughs> yeah, I messed around in this house a little bit. I tried Wad here, thinking there's like some invisible, but nope. But eventually, I did figure it out. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get to that here. Depends on how well my past self edited this. See, the thing is, when I don't have commentary on a video to edit, you know, as in I have to do post-commentary later, I'll usually play the video back at three times the speed, just so I can get through it faster. Okay, I did come over here. Harry Wayne? Yes, of course I know him. Everyone in this city knows about him. He's a world-famous mystery novelist. That sounds nuts, but... You might be on to something. Harry Wayne does know everything about crimes and criminals. Well, that's like saying a murder happened. It must have been Stephen King. <laughs> Good lord, dude. Are we being serious right now? So then I came back all the way back here. His wife is still... Mm -hmm. Penguin kins, whatever. Got any leads yet? You're still our main suspect, so I advise you to go find the real culprit. Then I came back over here, and I guess I saw something that I hadn't seen the first time. He has a memo in his hand that says Herringway. Or are you sure it doesn't say Maya? <laughs> How many times has that happened? So then I went back to talk to him, thinking I had just found the note, and of course, no, it had been there the whole time. Since I didn't notice that, though, I was off, totally off kilter here. Oh yeah, okay, and this is the moment right here. I started hitting him with a hammer, and I heard the Yoshi sound, and I was like, wait a minute. Why is the, wait, why is the mayor making Yoshi sounds when I hit him with a hammer? And I was totally convinced that, that that's what, they, they just did that in the game, that they made him start making Yoshi sounds. And eventually, of course, later I figured out <laughs> that it was that it was my attack badge that was doing it. That my attack proof sound badge or whatever. How many members are there in Gubario's family? That would be six. It's Gubario, Gubaria, Mom and Pop, Graham and Gramps. Pretty simple, really. Very simple family. Now what? Now we gotta go get in that pond, don't we? What am I doing here? Looking for more star pieces, maybe? <laughs> and I was like, dude, how do I get to this key? Well, I thought, I don't know, I just assumed that you, like, had to activate some sort of cutscene, like a giant fireball comes out of the sky. You know, like in Twilight Princess, how you have to do that? To get into the Zora ice? But, nope. In this case, it was as simple as jumping on the ice, baby. And then that water would still be stingingly cold, man. Stingingly cold on my bare skin, which there is none of except for my face. Still, that's the last place you would want it to touch. Really? 
Well, you probably wouldn't want it to touch your hands either, but, well. Well, it's generally your head. They say the majority of the body's heat escapes through the head, so... As long as your head's bare, you should be pretty good. Although you're not always. If you're, like, dressed to the nines on a hot summer day, you ain't gonna be comfortable regardless. Just because the heat escapes from your head. But in moments like that, you're definitely thankful it does. Yeah, this is pretty simple. I didn't know what I was doing here, but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> what in the... Why are you in my fireplace? Have you been playing Edgeworth Investigations again? I told you to put that game away. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? Not at all, man. I've never... Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect. You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I didn't know such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? <laughs> well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop into the mayor's house. What is up with these people? I haven't even left my house. And they think I committed the murder. Alright then, come on, let's go. Kind of would have expected him to be a little more angry about this, but no. I don't know. I guess I guess when he's just heard that his best friend died, you you wouldn't be necessarily angry at the moment. You just want to check on him and see if he's okay. You wouldn't be concerned about who was being accused of it or anything. Nope. So don't slam the door in my face. What is this Majora's mask? Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Okay, let's go. I have to go in first this time. <laughs> okay. Whatever. It's all you again. Have you come up with anything? Yeah, I've come up with another penguin. Do you don't don't just see him over there? What what? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. <sighs> if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. I most certainly would have noticed it. I mean, definitely, he does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. Let's just assume even more things that we didn't know. So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted... Gee, they're, they're so quick to just... Man. It's like, oh, hey, what we found... Man, oh. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this? He's a great friend of mine. Mm, yeah, so yeah, we're good friends. But that was just a cover, so no one would suspect you. Jeez. This is why you're in Paper Mario and not in a Phoenix Wright game. I don't mean to keep making Phoenix Wright references, but kind of, uh, you know, how can you nod when a murder is involved? He's like, yeah, I'm innocent. I've been working on my novel. I didn't even leave my house. Don't you want to start putting up cameras around the town or something? I just like to say I still think the man with the mustache is the most Bitch! You ain't even involved in this conversation! Get out of here! That's basically the same reaction I had the first time. I tried to recreate it, but it didn't sound as good. <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, in my first time, I, I kind of suspected he was alive anyway. Oh, I, like when I started hitting him with a hammer and it made the Yoshi sound, I thought that was like a clue that he was alive. Then, of course, I figured out it was the attack badge, and I had to put that whole theory to bed, but whatever. I thought you were dead! I thought you were dead! <laughs> what a plot twist. Oh, good lord, man. What are you talking about? Um... Man, I'm dizzy. I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this. Oh yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, fell, hit my head on the edge of the sink, and when I came to, I had a vision! A picture in my head! A picture of this! This is what makes time travel possible. Here you are, Herringway. This is my flex capacitor. Tumtown was great fun, so many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account. 
What's in the box, man? <laughs> What's in the box? Good lord. But Mayor, here we are thinking that you've been murdered. Yeah, well, I'm alive, so get over it. Is it so bad? Is it so bad that you don't have a case to run now? Get out of here. See you in Thousand Year Door. <laughs> He's just fine, alright. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. That's <laughs> where we get all our ideas. Based it on real life, you know? I mean, I kind of hope that Stephen King's novels aren't based on real life, you know? Real life experience or anything. So you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City. Oh, my voice cracked there. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't hike out to Starborn Valley, do you? Or you do want to hike over there. I don't know why I said don't. I mean, apparently I can't read my own dialogue. You better bundle up. Dude, every single bit of my body is covered except for my face. What do you want me to do? Wear a Sheikah mask? Besides, I got a big nose. Was I trying to stop the video here or something? Why am I just standing here? I must have been saying something funny. Probably more of that great commentary we don't get to hear now. I knew you were innocent the whole time. A backroom murder case? Please, how completely silly. That overzealous guard must read too many mystery novels. <laughs> anyway. So the whole time, the whole time, she knew I was innocent. She was just playing. Must be nice to live in a world where you can just kid around about things like that, you know? As opposed to... Nothing. That's exactly the thing. I'm, me saying nothing just as further proof. You know. Of course, what was I gonna say? Oh. You know. Blah, blah, blah. It's not even funny. For Puffin's sake, the mayor's wife is an alarmist. Although I bet everyone involved in that case would agree that my detective work was perfect. Dude! Go back to Wendy's. Please. You were much better at flipping burgers than you are at flipping tables. Okay, the mayor said it's okay now to go through. To go through. Cool. We get some, we get some fights here now? So that would be kind of awesome. See, now I'm kind of like <laughs> getting into it again. Like, oh boy, here come the fights. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh my god. This guy again. I've been here forever. Why are you worried? This has been taking you so long. I thought I was gonna freeze. This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy. I hate it. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back to the host. The host. Oh man. <laughs> I love Mario's little trip there. It's just a cute little. cute little ancillary benefit for them. But it ain't helping my buddy at 2.15 a gallon. Take a little magic course on the side. Now you're gonna be my final exam. Yeah, yeah I gotta win this time. <laughs> so he's been taking tutorials from... Well, tutorials from Kami Koopa, apparently. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember what I did here. I guess it doesn't matter. So he uses magic this time. Which, duh, he's got the magic cane. I'm surprised he didn't, like, fly and have the spike on his head and use magic. But I guess then he basically would have been mostly... Well, he would have been invincible, but it would have been... interesting. Of course, they wouldn't want you to keep... Oh, I see, I did the power bounce thing here. Okay, cool. Oh, but then I missed it. Yeah, because now that I had tornado jump, I wasn't used to the timing, so I had to learn it again. Ready to go? Well, not necessarily learn it. It's the same as it was before. But uh, I'm not sure why I did shell shot here because I think I could have could have just as easily used Wad to get five damage on him. Mm. You know, for zero FP. I mean, the big thing with Wad is just that you that he can do that kind of damage without consuming FP. Which is why I feel like he's one of the best partner. Holy moly! Here we go. Give me combo on this guy. What you gonna do now? Another shell shot? Sure. Why not? Here it goes again. Mm. 
Yeah, this actually was pretty close. Oh, and I had a badge equipped. I did change my badges because I had like, what was it, the Mega Rush? It was like the Mega Rush, but but instead of only taking effect when you're in peril, it takes effect when you're down to 5 HP, when you're in danger. But it only ups your attack by 2 instead of 4 like the other one. Still, it's way better. So what I was trying to decide here was, well, do I heal myself and try to just tough this out, or should I maybe take a chance with the extra attack? You know, and just do something really stupid, or stupid cool, stupid awesome. So I started to slow down with my paracarry attacks, so I could have time to do a jump charge. I thought, okay, I'll do the charge now, and then when I take one more hit from him, that'll put me in a position where I'm getting plus three from the charge and plus two from the badge. Then do a power bounce. And then see what happens. And that's basically what I did. That was my plan. Whether or not it works, it remains to be seen. Ooh, wow. Now I wish I had the peril badge, but okay. I don't know, if you had both the Peril Badge and the Danger Badge equipped, would they stack, I wonder? That'd be interesting to know. Yeah, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your timer is just counting down, buddy. <laughs> 45 damage right there. That's a lot of freaking damage, let me tell you. How did I know it was 45 so fast? Well, I'll tell you why. Because 1 plus 8 is 9, 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 6 is 9, and 4 plus 5 is 9. So 1 through 8 is just 4 9s, and then a fifth 9, 9 times 5 is 45. And that's easy, uh, you know, as my past self would have said, anyway. Oh yeah, I definitely wanted to sleep after that, sleep off that pain that he packed onto my body. Sleep well. I'll be staying right here watching you while you sleep. You smell different when you're awake. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Good luck to you. It was rather cozy in here. I mean, I guess there was nothing else to really do besides go this way now. We explored the town, we were just waiting to... ...see some- oh! <laughs> That's right, this guy gets frozen out here on the way. <laughs> Man, there is nothing more hilarious. I'm leaving that on for the rest of the game. That sound, though. I was totally sure there was going to be something in that tree back there, because you couldn't see it. There was something like that in Thousand Year Door Chapter 7, where you couldn't see something, you had to walk behind a tree. And then there turned out to be something back there, and I was like, oh god. And they're all just snowmen. Nothing special about any of them, nothing different from one to the next, nothing at all. Oh yeah, I did spot that. <laughs> I guess I was kind of lucky, I didn't see it just now, but apparently I spotted it when I was playing. Of course I was playing it on the big old TV, so that's probably why. Big old TV. What I'm looking at now is like a six by four inch screen. Recapping what I just did. Oh boy! Here we go. I love these looking, these walrus looking monsters. I have no idea what those are supposed to be, but they look cool as hell. I love seeing big monsters and just thinking, oh, look at all the experience. You know they're going to make big explosions, and they're also going to give you big experience. It's in the air right here. This might be the first time I'm using this attack, I'm not sure. Yeah, sweet. When I saw Air Raid, I kind of pictured it as a bunch of other Koopas joining him on the attack, but I guess that's not... You know, because like when we do a raid on Twitch, it's always a whole bunch of people together spamming the chat. See, what did I change here? Yeah, I was like, I'm having too much fun with that super jump part. Yeah, this is where I took off feeling fine, because I noticed I wasn't getting any status ailment. Of course, maybe the reason I wasn't getting any was because I was wearing the badge, and who would know for sure? 
I also took off Heartfinder and no, tell me you didn't put. Okay, good. <laughs> so what did I do here? Oh, I put it back on Quick Change. Okay, I guess that's smart. Then I had room for something else. I was like, what? Yeah, I wanted to put Power Smash back on. That was definitely one thing. Jump charge. I couldn't decide where to put that last point. I just put it on Shrink Stomp for now. I don't know if I ever use it. I don't think I did. I think that's about it for this video, actually. Oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> because I ducked back into this little shallow ravine here, and I said goodbye to everybody, so... Now it's time for me to say goodbye, too, so... So, goodbye! <laughs>